Hello, Iron Toast here. Let's talk about Wasp as a six star and let's see some gameplay. So first off, let's take a peek at Wasp to begin with. So Wasp is what they would consider a glass cannon, right? So that means they have a, a very low health, but a very high attack, right? So they can release some serious damage, but they can't take a hit for crap. Um, as far as her abilities go, um, she has a chance to evade, so she's a decent war defender. As long as she's not stunned, you know, she can do that quantum evade and inflict shock and all that. Uh, there's a bug on her when attacked thing. Um, passive, whenever she does say, uh, <clears throat> whenever she shrinks down, her next two hits are critical. So when you're in the middle of a combo and you throw a heavy, you're going to get critical hit, critical hit, which is great. Um, special attacks 1 and 2, uh, they put a debuff on the opponent, which helps Wasp because it increases her damage. And very cool thing about this, special attack 3, um, it is not capped. So she, in this particular case, she gets 109 extra attack per hit on her combo meter, and there is no limit. Um, as far as synergies go, basically you've got synergies that help when she intercepts, she puts more debuffs on the opponent, hence making her attacks stronger. Now let's get into some actual battles here. Here is a look at uh, a battle with Joe Fixit. Now this is an Act 6, so I have the uh, the debuff where, or they have the buff where if I dash backwards I can't do it like twice in a row. So ignore what's happening on my side, but on the right side there, look and see, they've got the uh, slowness and the concussion buff debuffs there. Those were because I'm running all the synergies. We'll show you here again. Got weakness from the heavy, which is good, that, that boosts her attack. If you'll notice, when I'm running my combos, I hit four times generally, and instead of making that fifth hit on your combo, if you just hold the heavy attack, they get a passive stun just long enough for you to release that heavy attack, so it's pretty much a guaranteed hit right here. There you go. Very good, and you can see they're pretty wicked hits usually. Um, as far as actual gameplay normally goes, there's some more debuffs on them. As far as gameplay normally goes, you generally have that weakness debuff on them almost all the time, so that makes your attack better. You'll see that the special one puts that concussion debuff on her right there. Um, so basically, debuffs, debuffs, debuffs. Um, that increases your attack, and then manage to get that heavy in as much as you can. Look, two critical hits in a row. See, that battle's already over. We're not going to look at the entire battle here of Wasp, but... As you can see, I'm kind of beating down on Winter Soldier. What I kind of wanted to show you was the number of hits on the combo meter and kind of show you the damage. It's pretty pretty great on her special three. So right now here, I'm just in the process of building out my power. <clears throat> Throw in those heavies on that uh, at the end of that combo every time you can. Uh, oh, one thing I noticed, by the way, with Wasp is she generates a lot of power for the opponent. So you can, like you're fighting a boss, for example, like uh, in Alliance Quest, the Kingpin, for example, you can constantly have him on special one. And once you get him there the first time, you just keep using your combo and baiting it. It's it's pretty much too easy. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to get an intercept on this Winter Soldier so I can put the debuffs on him, the extra debuffs. So we're going to bait this special one here. There we go. We're going to dodge it. We're going to back way up, and then we're going to try and intercept. No. No, not there. There we go. So there's a couple extra buffs. Hit that heavy and special three. So at 130 hits, let's see what kind of damage output we get on the special three. Looks like bubblegum smash. 49,000. So for a, for a long fight, if you can get up over 100 uh, combo in your in your combo meter, you can do some pretty wicked special threes there. Um, in shorter fights, you'll probably want to go for that special 2. Um, it's pretty good in and of itself, especially when your opponent doesn't have 500,000 health. You know, the, really that special 3, the massive special 3, only works on those really long fights. And so, <clears throat> and that's pretty much it. So, the main things, uh, the kind of quick version of what to know about Wasp here, you need to get beat debuffs on the opponent. That makes your attacks way better. That's the first thing. The second thing is, always try to get that heavy in the middle of your combo. The hits are critical, guaranteed, which is awesome. And then, uh, of course, if you're in um, a game mode where you can use the synergies that you may not otherwise use, you know, Yellow Jacket or Ant-Man for, bring them along if you have room on your roster uh, 
for those extra intercept debuffs, and they work great. Just boosts your attack all that much more. And so that's pretty much it for Wasp. Um, is she a great character? She's good. Um, she's a decent defender when she's duped. Um, but overall, she's not bad. You know, she's a good one. Um, glass cannon characters are generally for more advanced players. So it's kind of up to you if you're kind of ready to start playing that style. Otherwise, stick to some generally good characters that are good for everybody. So that's it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, do subscribe if you haven't already and hit that like button if you would. And I will see you next time. Bye.